Hi, and welcome to the VR Shops review of the Lightweight Portable 3D VR. Lightweight Portable 3D. I'm sure we could have come up with a better name than a face crap or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's a bit better than that. Anyway, this current price is around £17.50, which works out to about $25, give or take a few cents either way. And we're going to take a look and find out if it's worth buying. You know the drill by now. This is just a quick overlook review. For detailed information like weight, lens size, FOV, is it light enough for a budgie to wear, things like that, please do visit the website link in the description below. But okay, let's get on with it. It's from the box and, um, well, it's all right. It's not, you know, not too bad. Quite nice, you know, you might see that in a shopping bag. And that was the outer sleeve covering basic brown box and inside it's uh well it's quite nicely presented actually this is uh oof, quite, that is the headset itself then we've got microfiber cloth uh head strap uh anything else no. just checking in there no nothing else that's your okay Let's put that there. Oh, we'll, we'll put it put it back in it. Please go on. There we go. There we go. So, head strap, microfiber cloth. Yeah, that's a weird head strap, isn't it? <laughs> really, it's got like tape on it. I don't know. I don't think that's very adjustable. Or is it adjustable? That is that what that does? No. No, it's not adjustable. Okay. So, this is the, the headset itself. Yeah, it's one of those uh, folding ones. And <laughs> they slightly uh, undersold themselves because they were saying, oh, this is one of the lightest portable 3D VR headsets there is, and it's only 160 grams. Yeah. However, we weighed it, and it was only 143 fail you know <laughs> you could have gone that i'd have called it 140 if it's 143 but neither way it's you know it's light yeah but you know compared to many of the other uh like the vr case or the vr cat wow i love the vr cat things like that it's uh it's a brick <laughs> there's no way to say it, it is a brick it, it, even in weight terms so you know, you can't, you can claim the weight, but it's not, it's not one of the lightest at all. Definitely not. Anyway, this uh, is very Pacific, I hate, you know, I hate this one. This uh, is a very exact headset <laughs> and it only takes certain phones. Uh, one of them is an Apple iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 goes in there like that and you can uh, there so that that goes in there like that and the idea is uh that when you want to uh go into vr mode or whatever you want to call it where the buttons the, why would it hide the button no i haven't got it in the line wrong way around yeah it just hides the buttons <sighs> anyway <laughs> Losing the floor. So when you want to enter it in VR mode, so you you take that out and you fold it round, spin it round like that, and just clip it back in. And then down here, you just open uh, the clip up at the side. There we go. And then this will uh, come up, and you can hopefully uh, just pull it right up. And then you can wear it, you know, and. You put it on and you can watch your uh, your movies and it's you know that's kind of the idea of it once that you've uh, finished watching whatever you you were watching you could just pull in the little things either side it's better if you've got little fingers instead of my fat sausages and clip it down and then you go to <laughs> you got to turn your phone around, oh my life, test it, 
That's good. <laughs> That's good. They just release it, they just, you know, be sure it'll work. I don't care, just get it out. Yeah, make money. Some monkey will buy it in the VR shop and buy it, a bunch of monkeys. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's been a long day, it's been a long day. <laughs> so, that was the iPhone uh, 6, iPhone 6S, and uh, take this frame away, and you can clearly see there that it goes up the iPhone 6, uh, iPhone 6s Plus and iPhone 6s. So you can just put in your Plus in there and the same thing. I mean you could say uh, at least <laughs> with the with the Plus it clips in and you've got access to your buttons and everything like that which is kind of nice. Unfortunately once that's clipped in it's a git to get out, and I'm talking mega pain. Oh, get out of it. Right. <sighs> At which point, <laughs> oh my life. At which point, you're supposed to turn it round, clip it back in. Yeah, and that clip is as clingy as you as it sounds. Open it back up, uh, and pull it back up, and then you can watch. Something on your bigger, <laughs> just so uh, front heavy. Um, you yeah, know, in the end of it, I, I think <laughs> you don't have access to your buttons, but and, and this one's a bit sticky. But I don't know. It, you know, it kind of works and doesn't at the same time. The view uh, is is actually all right. You know, it's designed you don't need pupil or dis, uh, distance adjustment because it's designed for these phones only so you know it kind of works if you if your eyeballs are the right distance apart and it is actually if i can get into it again i would uh yeah yeah i'm using a back scratcher I'd rather review the extendable back scratcher than this, but still, <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get on with it. It has to be said, if it was a lot smaller, it's actually a very well designed unit. I mean, this is... There is method in the madness, you know? It's, it's a good design, and it is a clever design. And the fact that, you know, you can open that up, and shame that that's not quite as uh, springy as I would have liked. But it should have just been able, be able to open, shing, you know, poof, it, it's like there. But instead, you know, you've got to pull it back up a bit. But, I don't know, there is, you know, there is a point to it, and it is clever. It's just not amazingly thought out. I'd have it, you know, I know it's ridiculous as a phone case, I know that, but i kind of have it like that, you know, I know it'd be a pain getting out, you'd have to use your extendable back scratcher, that is a far better product, and much better value for money, and, well, I don't, I don't you know what, I don't care, I'm just going to leave it in there, and I'll open it up, because it looks better, it does look quite nice, I think, there we go, <laughs> there we go, I'll leave it, I'll leave it extended out, there you go, I think that pretty much covers it. If you'd like to know anything else about this headset, <laughs> if you'd like to know anything else about this headset, I don't care. I don't want to touch it again. <laughs> now, if you've got any other questions, do let us know, and we, I'll get it out and I'll test it, whatever you need testing on it. Thanks for watching. Please do remember to subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe box in the corner, and also to sign up for our weekly newsletter giveaway. We're going to give away headsets, not that. That's not going to be given away. Much better headsets in our weekly giveaway each and every week. A big thanks goes to our star of the show, which is a lightweight portable 3DR. 3D VR, which is, uh, well, it's, uh, it's pretty clever, but, I don't know, it's just, it's not there, is it, you know? A good idea that fell slightly short of the finish line.